Welcome back. Mino here, and today we find ourselves at Olgity and Brother. That's where we're going to be continuing our nomad run of seven days. Uh, we got to get rid of some stragglers before we call this place a house, so let's do that. Come on, guys. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Got some visitors at the back door, which, uh, you know, I'm perfectly cool with that if you ask permission first. Alright, so I know that looked easy peasy, but there's a reason. The inside of the building is easy peasy. It's the roof that's a real pain in the ass. So, we're going to go outside and do this the long way, because I don't like the way they drop you in on this if you go the path they want. Alright, here we are at the roof. Uh, looks like some of them fell down. I think that's some of the people we were fighting in there, but I know inside these little buildings there are some real baddies. And there's a tendency for birds to show up. Let's take it easy. Yep, see here's somebody. Oh, there was somebody. Uh, that one the hard guy though. Oh, see we got a few over here. Oh, no no no. No you don't, copper. Oh. Hey, buddies. Yeah, in this building right there. That's who I don't want to mess with. Uh, last time I was here, there were several ferals that jumped out of there. I'm going to bust out my real gun before we do that. Alright. Wish us luck. Oh, wrong room. <laughs> it's this other one. Yeah, that one. Oh, I don't like this part. Here we go. And that's how you do it. Oh, I hear somebody. Oh, we might have just bothered somebody else. Because I don't see a somebody. And they might be out here. We'll worry about them later. Well, they're mad, though, aren't they? Okay, so this is the end room of this place. It looks like we got it cleared. I'm going to walk this backwards to make sure we get whoever that is screaming. There you are. All right. I think we're alone now. Excellent. So this is going to be our new base. Uh, the first thing we need to do when we are here, though, is leave. Uh, Joel's our local trader of the week, which is very cool. But I want to finish out the uh, Tier 1 stuff for him tomorrow, if I can. But that means we have to get two missions in today. Shouldn't be too bad. It's only noon. Uh, so let's run up there and take care of that because we're going to have a busy night tonight. There he is. Trader Joel. All right. Two missions from him and we can get about our day. Let's see what he's got for us. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Thank you, sir. What do we got this quick? Uh, we got a fetch. I have a dilemma. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes, we are indeed. I'll take the... Do -do -do -do. Uh, let's do a clear. Closest one. I'm in God bless you. Yeah, sure, shit. We're in a rush. It must be my lucky day. Thank you. Thank okay, you. uh, let's take the, uh, the water and why not? Mods or mods or mods. No more missions today. The first thing we got to do is hop back on our bike and go back to our old base. Yeah, I know. I'm still kind of geetered out from our previous uh, horde run, but I didn't bring money, and I have a bunch of stuff to kind of put away. What I want to do is buy turrets. I'm going to see if uh, Wrecked has a turret. We still have him to deal with. And then I'm going to see if uh, Joel here has a turret. That's day 15, so their inventory is going to reset tomorrow. Uh, let's see what we can do before the end of the day. We've got stuff to gather, things to do. And it's already, what, 3.30? i got to get rolling. Um, yeah. See you in a sec. Holy shit, I thought you were a zombie. Ah, good to see you too, buddy. So it looks like he's got a couple of shotgun auto turrets. I can just afford those. Uh, really, with the plan I have in mind, I need two or three of those, and I need like five or six of the other ones. And I don't think we're going to be able to build either. So, you know what? Why not? Let's buy these. Screw it. Buy it. Ah, I probably shouldn't have done Shit, that. Man, I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip me. You're starting to repeat yourself, Wrecked. Alright, uh, but that takes care of our shotguns at least to start. Yeah. Still might need one more, but we'll worry about that later. We're gonna need a lot more money first. Uh, yeah. And the next order of business is gathering everything we need and making our first trip back to our new base. All we want to do is set up over there tonight. And then it's going to be pretty cut and dry for the next couple of days. Might gloss over those a bit because all we're going to be doing is maxing out our trader missions. And when we're done with him, uh, going out and mining everything we can mine. Uh, I'm going to need everything. Lead, iron, coal, nitrate, piles and piles of all of it. I've got plans of things to do with it, but I don't want you guys sitting through me just gathering it. So I'm going to try to break this week into two halves and hope I don't cut my time too short to build everything. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to get to work. We're going to do a little chop edit here and I'll catch you guys when it's about to get interesting. Must be my lucky day. Thank you. And here you go. These guys are just going to bug me. 
Yeah, see? Look at them. This leads to our main problem. Are these bushes. As long as these bushes exist, these zombies can just jump up here and pop right in. And we don't really have a way to protect ourselves. That's no good. We're going to fix that. Wow, a feral in broad daylight. Huh. Hey, buddy. I know that's the weak door. There's a point to that. We'll get to that later. Now these doors aren't going to do us much good with that glass right there. So... Oh, it looks like we got to get more wood. Now that's alright. We need to get some cobblestone anyway. Eventually I will make those cement. There's going to be very little cement used, but that's going to be one point. That should do it. Okay, let's see what Joel's got for the day. And uh, I haven't checked his inventory to see even if he has any turrets on him. Let us visit for a while. We're gonna, because I need to check out to see if you have any turrets. Tomorrow you get new inventory, so I need to know what you have today. Wow, so it looks like he has no turrets. He does have a cool drone. There's always Shamway up the road. You can try looting. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to work for you instead. What do we got? Uh, ooh, two infesteds. That's going to be hairy. Uh, buried supplies, a fetch, and a clear. Uh, let's get the buried supplies out of the way because that's boring. I really admire you, friend. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Bubba. Tier 2. Tier 2, Bubba. Tier 2, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, my God. What happened? Two friggin' ferals? Three ferals? What in the world? Are you serious? Stupid. Oh, that sucked. Alright. Alright, so that does it for the easy ones. Well, we've got a couple of infested ones still to do. Let's see what we got here. Cool stuff. Now, before we get too excited, let's see where we're at as far as learning things. I don't think I'm going to be able to build... Yeah, the shotgun turret we might be able to build. I think I can get enough magazines to finish that out, but the SMG turret, no way. Which is a bummer, because I know Wrecked carries those shotgun turrets. He'll have more of those tomorrow. Um, you, I don't know. And we have Bob. I could go all the way back to Bob. I might have to. Now oh, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, let's go uh, clear out this chest. Make sure we're where we need to be. And then we'll knock out those two infested missions. 
Wowie zowie. That was something. Alright. Oddly, uh, this last infestation that Joel sent us to sent us right by Bob's old base. So, while we're here, since we haven't seen Bob in a while, let's see if Bob has something for us. All prices are fair here. I bet they are. Do you have turrets, though? He's got one. Find that. Looks like we can only afford one anyway. And, yep, near broke. So we're going to definitely need more money, too. Note to self. Thanks, Bob. Safe travels. Thank you. Did it. Great job, traveler. Thank you. I'm gonna be taking all the ammo that I can. Thanks, buddy. Alright, that clears out Joel for the day. So, back to base. Uh, before we get started there, too, there's one more thing I want to build at the base. Uh, the chemistry station. We did get enough magazines to get the chemistry station going, and we're going to need a lot of gunpowder, so let's go build that real quick. Let's hop on inside, and that way nobody can see us. What do we need for a chemistry station? We have a spare beaker. Uh, we got the forged iron. Cooking pot, we might have to make that. Short iron pipe we've got, and the acid we have got. Phenomenal. I'm going to run upstairs, grab all of that, and we can get that going. Fantastic. It looks like the iron is done. Lead's just about done. Okay. Well, alright. Do we have any brass in here? I think we have a little bit. Yeah, 843. Let's go ahead and cook the brass down. And this empty one right there. There you go, buddy. Okay, and the chemistry station. I need a workbench to make it. Not a problem. Why don't you make it for me? Thanks, man. 12 minutes. Jeez Louise. Alright, so that is going to be a while. So I think while that chemistry station gets made, I'm going to call it an episode here. Uh, I've still got some cooking to do. Uh, we've got to cook down all the brass, the lead, the blah de blah Get everything going. We'll get into the meat and potatoes next episode, though. I've got a lot of plans for this building. Uh, we're going to do a brute force solution. I need a few little landing points so that we're not just standing here staring at them all night. Thanks for joining, guys. I'll see you on the next one.